guys, Grady's mom here with a super easy chili recipe. Um, now, obviously we all know there's several ways to make chili. I have found this to be the absolute easiest, even if you are a beginner cook that barely knows how to boil water. If you can't make this, something's wrong, it's that easy. So I'm gonna be using my crock pot. Um, I actually have my crock pot here uh, preheating. Um, and I just have it on warm because uh, we're technically going to cook the meat in here, fully cook the meat. Uh, and then we're going to drain all the fat out just to get any excess fat out of the, um, the meat. So I just have a pound of ground round. You can use ground beef, uh, ground sirloin, any kind of ground beef will do, whatever you like. You're just going to need one can of kidney beans. Uh, I like the dark red. You're going to need one can of diced tomatoes. I just have these. Any brand is fine. I'm going to use about half of this onion. It's like a medium-sized yellow or white cooking onion. And then I just use these uh, already measured out chili seasoning packets. I've used these for years. They taste great. I've never had a problem, and they're super cheap. Um, I think these are like $1.50. So first thing you're going to want to do is just get a large uh, pan like this. Mine's preheating right now on almost high. So I want to get it nice and hot. And I'm just going to get this ground uh, beef in there and just start breaking it up. And I'll show you guys how easy this is. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have the pound of the ground beef in my pan. And I'm just kind of breaking it up and kind of moving it around. And I'm going to get it fully cooked. And then I'm going to drain it and show you guys what we do next. Okay guys, so the meat is all cooked, uh, fully browned, and I just have it in this colander now. See, so just draining uh, any fat out. Just leave it in there for a couple minutes, kind of give it a shake, get all the fat out, and then we're just going to transfer this meat into the crock pot. Okay guys, so I have everything assembled. I'm just going to open my crock pot, and we are going to put the meat that has been drained in first. So that goes right on the bottom. Second, we are going to do the kidney beans that have been uh, rinsed and drained because you want to get all that film off from the can. And we're going to put those right on top of the meat. Next, we are going to add the half of the yellow or white chopped onion. Just kind of, that's been diced up. And then we're going to add the can of diced tomatoes right on top. I'm going to get it all in there. And very last, we're going to do the chili mix, chili seasoning. And we're just going to put that right on top of the tomatoes. Just going to grab a spoon. And we're just going to combine all of this. So that chili seasoning packet gets all inside the meat and the beans. Again, I just have my crock pot on low because technically, since the meat is already cooked, we just want to combine everything. We want the onions to soften. We don't want raw onions. The beans are fully cooked. So mainly, it's just letting everything, all the flavors come together. So it looks pretty well combined. Um, if you like black beans, you can always add some black beans rather than the kidney beans. If you like it more tomato-y, you can add another half can or another full can of tomatoes. What I usually do um, about halfway through the cooking process, you know, or the warming process when I give it a stir, is if it looks a little dry, I will add a splash of beef broth, but that's completely optional. And now we just put the lid on and forget about it, and I will show you guys later what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, so several hours have elapsed, and as you can see, I can't get too close because of the steam will fog up the lens, but it's really come together nicely. I actually did end up adding a splash of beef broth um, because I wanted it a little bit soupier. Um, I actually serve my chili over ditalini pasta, uh, which is like the little two pasta like that. Uh, some people just like chili just like this. Um, and that's fine. I don't mind it that way, but I actually tend to serve it with pasta like my mom did. So I'm just going to boil this up and that is going to be our dinner for tonight. Um, you could also serve it over rice or again, you don't have to serve it over anything. Um, one other thing I wanted to add is if you don't have a crock pot and that's fine. A lot of people don't, you would do use the same five ingredients 
um, except after you brown the beef and drain it, you would add all the things that I added and then you would just simmer it on your stove top for about one hour, um, probably around medium, but you'd have to stir it every 10 minutes or so. And in an hour, it'd be done and ready to go, but this looks and smells delicious. Again, I added just a splash of beef, beef broth and just gonna boil up the ditalini pasta, just put a little bit of shredded cheese, and that is dinner for tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple five ingredient crock pot chili. Again, you can make it on your stovetop. Hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.